For all my subscribers, thank you for joining me each and every week, almost every day. We have a wonderful community now, so I just wanted to thank you. And thank you to everybody that's taken the time to watch this. For now, let's get into my review of Vespa. After the collapse of Earth's ecosystem, Vespa, a 13-year-old girl struggling to survive with her paralyzed father, meets a woman with a secret who will force her to use her wits, strengths, and biohacking abilities to fight for the possibility of having a future. If you take the soundtrack of Blade Runner, set in a dystopian future that is probably more realistic looking of our future if we continue going the way that we are, and then you set it in a technology future that is a technology again that is probably something that we could get to grips with more so than the sort of flying cars, the, the cyberpunk sort of future, but this is more like there's not much left. And then we take Citadel, cities where elite few are living okay and then outside that is a desolate wasteland and the wasteland looks something like Dagobah from Star Wars then that's similar to what you would experience in this film. Right off the bat I just want to get a quick niggle. There is a chunk of text that appears at the beginning of the film. It kind of it unfolds and it's it's folding down the screen and you have to read pretty quick. Now, I love me some anime. I'm always watching in the original language, which means I'm reading subtitles, which means for years I've had that trained into me to, to read quickly. Now, bearing in mind, I watched this first thing in the morning. Maybe I'm not quite as awake as I thought I was, but the text on top of the screen came by fairly quickly that by the time I got to the end, I missed the bottom chunk. Now, if you're watching this at the cinema, that's going to be an issue because you're going to be like, wait, what did it say? You can't exactly pause the screen at the cinema. However, if you're watching this on VOD, then you're probably going to be going to be OK, but still going to have to take yourself out of the film for a bit to pause it to read what was going on. That's just a little niggle, but let's carry on. Earth feels very much like an alien planet. The stuff that we've done to Earth is now looking like the plants with biohacking, biosynthetics is taking over and becoming different. So it feels like a, a, a very dreary drab Pandora from Avatar. And I like that because it lends itself to adventure. So once again, Earth has become the playground for imagination and creativity in amongst the bandits and what people have gotten up to in the wasteland becomes this really kind of scary place which you have to navigate and as a young female teen character she is looking after her dad and the only conversation she has with her father is in this weird mechanoid hovering robot head a floating device that he can speak through because he is basically on bed rest because of something that has happened to him in the military so she is a 13 year old kid looking after her own father and fending for themselves when you have bandits and scary things and then the Along comes this other character who kind of introduces her to the hope of the future which she's been having with the skills and techniques that she has that maybe she can create a better life or something just to survive in this world a hope for the future there's this line in the film that stuck with me though you don't know the cost of dreams and that really stuck with me because if you are living in a world like this then having dreams can cost you your life because then you start trying to navigate your life into making that dream come to fruition but when every day is a grind maybe you surviving that day is the miracle of the day then having a dream and going for that can cost you everything it's not like life now where it's just hard work and maybe depending on your dream it could cost you your life but it's unlikely. This is a very different stark look at it. So that line really stuck out to me as to what this film was trying to portray and how important it was that the dreams, no matter the cost, whatever dreams you have, you keep going for them because they bring you hope in life, even though hope can be costly. That is kind of one of the themes that's in it. And then a number of the others was the desolate future that is a stark contrast to what we have now, although a realistic looking one. The score is mesmerizing. The visual palette of the film, the tone that they go for is mesmerizing. It's also a slow film. There is an action around every bend. It takes time if you take a little bit of annihilation that sort of movie and the mix with a drab pandora from avatar and you add some dialogue and visual aesthetics that makes you ponder what the world is without it being preachy then it becomes this visual feast for the imagination and the story 
is allowed to kind of flow over you as you are experiencing what this girl's gone through. It's not a happy future, but it is an interesting journey to go along with our character Vesper. I think pretty much near the beginning of the film, I'm rooting for her, I'm on her side. As things happen to her, you are on the edge of your seat. Even though it's not a tense film, there are tense moments. There's an eeriness to the mystery of this world and law that the creators have set up. I thoroughly enjoyed my time in this world, although I wouldn't want to live there if that makes sense. The technology is realistic and feels tangible when you're watching it. It's like, yeah, that could be a thing. The storyline, doesn't ever make me go yeah well that wouldn't happen characters make decisions that you think they would make for example we have a 13 year old who's had to become an adult but every now and again the kid creeps out of her fantastically acted as well there are moments when she is allowed or allows herself to be that 13 year old kid and make decisions a 13 year old kid would make but then of course living in this world there are repercussions for that in amongst this visual aesthetically pleasing dreary story of hope of wanting to have hope you have a character based story about a 13 year old kid looking after her father not really getting to be a child and i thought it was fantastic from beginning to end i was zoned in and even though it has slow pacing and it spends the majority of the middle of the film fleshing out characters and the story that they want to tell the preachy bit but not really preachy but you're invested you want to know about the story you want to know how we got to this place so that when we get to the end you feel like the journey has been worth i guess your money your time and i think it is eddie marson plays jonas and his character is one of those characters you know are just going to be trouble the whole way through he is the protagonist bad guy every time he's on screen you're just like oh, i don't want any more of you because i'm worried of what you're going to do having him as the bad guy not knowing what he's going to do next is a nice add to the level of tenseness that's just there in the background even though you have to survive you still have that thing that's out there and the science that is here the technology that they use synthetic biology is very interesting to me because it's not one that is tactical too much in sci-fi we tend to go for the robotics we tend to go for the cyberpunk that sort of thing has been very in the zeitgeist of Hollywood to create that sort of post-apocalyptic film here however it feels fresh in a nasty sort of way looking at what future could be and also almost more realistic so we could take that technology i could see us humans having to force themselves into a place where this is the only way we could survive i'm going to give this four nicholas cages out of five what's in the bag a shark or something i don't think it's quite a five star film but it's thoroughly entertaining enjoyed all my time i'd love to know what you guys think what is your favorite different post-apocalyptic future film that you think could be a real look at what we have in store for us in the future let me know your thoughts down below thanks so much for watching but most of all until next time remember live long on tuesday